after you've been provisioned your Google Recapture bundle, you'll have to first request that. If you didn't already, that should have been requested when you first purchased for the product and uh, landed on a landing page to get your account ID and your sandbox ID and provided those in that form. If you have not done so, you might have to reach out on the website to uh, get in contact with someone from our team in order to get that provision to your account. Once that bundle is provisioned, you can go into Customization, Sweep Bundler, and search and install bundles. From here, you can either type in the bundle ID or you can just search for reCAPTCHA. You search for reCAPTCHA, make sure you find this one with this bundle ID 412248 and the company name is Anchor Group LLC. Go ahead and select that. Then you can go to the install button. Also, some things to note is that here is a link to the tutorial documentation as well, but you can just click install. At this point, you can review the bundle before you do your final installation and, and make that action. So you're being listed all the different records that are being installed in your environment within the bundle. So install, click OK. You're going to see a pending status once you've been redirected to this page with the reCAPTCHA being installed. You can continuously refresh this. This can sometimes take up to 10 or 15 minutes, but you can check in, make sure that it's pending, and then come back to this. While your bundle is pending and being installed inside your NetSuite environment, you can go over onto Google, search for Google reCAPTCHA, and you'll the first result will be this page. So you would click on that and you go to V3 Admin Console. From there, it'll have you go set up your account and provide a, a few steps for you. Ultimately, what will happen throughout those steps is you'll get to your reCAPTCHA keys. And it'll look something like this. You'll have a your domain that you'll enter in here. You'll want to select your version 2, and then you'll find your site keys and your secret keys. So these are the two things that you're going to need to copy and paste into the bundle as soon as you're ready and the installation has begun. Going back here, let's search for reCAPTCHA. Just make sure that it's um, correctly installed. We'll refresh this one time. And you can see that right at the bottom here, it has a check mark, meaning that it's all good to go and it's installed. The next step is to activate the extension. And because activation of an extension takes a few minutes, I like to do this step next so we can do the rest of the configuration. So we'll go to Commerce, Extensions, Extension Manager. You'll find your domain from your website that you use. In our case, in this demo, we're using this one. So we'll click Edit. And you'll go over to the Extensions tab. And you'll look for Google reCAPTCHA, Integration, Anchor Group. And click the check mark here. And then click Activate. This will be pending for a few more minutes, too. You can click Refresh to see if this has begun processing, it's usually like one out of seven, one out of eight steps. While that's occurring, let's go ahead and finish our configuration. So we'll go into the search bar and type in page AG reCAPTCHA configuration. This is the reconfiguration record for those keys. So I'll click new reCAPTCHA configuration. This is the site key and the secret key. Copy the site key. Copy the secret key. The Google reCAPTCHA API URL and verify CAPTCHA URL, um, those will be, if they're not already defaulting when you're installing this, they will be very shortly. And if you do not know what to use, we'll go ahead and go to the installation guide to grab that information. So within the tutorial documentation, we do have this just pasted right here for you. So Google CAPTCHA API URL, copy that. Then do verify CAPTCHA, copy that. Now we're going to click Save. Let's go ahead and go back to the activation to see if this has been completed yet. So we'll refresh this. Looks like it's still in progress, three out of seven. So we're going to have to wait a few more minutes before we can do the next step. All right, now that we've refreshed the page, we can see it's completed. We are going to do the final configuration, and that's just a couple checkboxes. So we'll go to Sweet Commerce Configuration, Commerce, Websites, Configuration. Click 
Click Configure. And then you're going to go to Extensions and click on Google CAPTCHA Integration. Then you're going to select which areas you want the reCAPTCHA to show up in. Most people like it in all three areas. One quick note is that a prerequisite for this display reCAPTCHA for guest checkout is to have this display reCAPTCHA for registration. So let's go ahead and just save all of these. Whenever there is something new that we add, we often will do cache and validation requests. So let's go ahead and do that at Commerce, Content Management, Cache and Validation Request, New. And we're going to select the website that we have this on, move it over, clear cache for whole domain, submit. Finally, we'll go to our website and test it. I always recommend doing this all in Sandbox first and testing several different scenarios. So let's go here, we'll do Control shift r on our keyboard. So let's check all the places. So it should be good to go in the checkout when they place order, when they register as a new customer, and when they're checking out as a guest. So we'll start with new customer, go to register. You should see it show up here, but I always think it's important to go ahead and test this to make sure they can create an account. So let's go ahead and do that. We can see that the account has been successfully created and that it didn't cause any errors. So finally, let's go ahead while we're here to make sure that the, the checkout process is happening effectively too. We're at our final review of the checkout. So let's go ahead and make sure, yep, it properly shows up the reCAPTCHA. We'll click this and either button they'll be able to place order. So we'll pl click place order. So we get a confirmation that that's all complete. We will also want to test a guest checkout if you've got that enabled. So in order to test that, we're going to need to add an item to the cart. Make sure you're not signed in at this point. We'll proceed to checkout. And now this checkout as guest appears. We'll look this, make sure that this is there. It is correctly there. So we can check that and ensure that the guest checkout works. If you run into any issues, you can reach out to our support and you can also double check the documentation to see if there's any useful notes that might help you with your troubleshooting. One common one, if you get an internal error, is on the tutorial documentation, if you get an internal error, there is a sweet answer article that you can check out that will help you through that.